Alright. Is it recording? Okay, yep, it's recording. Okay, hey guys. And I'm gonna be reacting to the death battle between SpongeBob SquarePants versus Aquaman. Specifically, the one from the Super Friends, aka the one that ruined Spongebob. Uh, I don't know what said about the one that ruined Aquaman's reputation, uh, aka the one behind the Aquaman memes, aka probably one of the weakest versions of Aquaman out there. Okay, because of that, I okay, I haven't seen this episode, but I, from I, I'm pretty sure everyone know who's taking this one. Even though this is a joke fight, it's gonna be SpongeBob. Spongebob's taking this. Like, there's, like, no other way around it. But... I'll watch both of their analysis, but... Will I make another prediction after I watch both of their analysis? I highly doubt it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with Spongebob, either, regardless. So... We'll see how big... Yeah, Spongebob, Team Forest, go burr. Spongebob Squarepants, Nickelodeon's number one nautical nincompoop. Hell yeah. Aquaman, the thalassic third wheel of the super friend. Mm -hmm. Thalassic means ocean. Oh now my god. The infinite Thank you. The depths of the seven seas are home to any number of terrifying, awe-inspiring creatures. They're also mm. home to these two losers. But when it comes to cartoon characters, there's always more hidden beneath the waves. That's right, we're prioritizing the cartoons for maximum Toon Force shenanigans. Mm -hmm. These whiz and I boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Doodle is like Doodle Bob. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh god. Mm -hmm. Reef blower, yep, that episode. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're calculating this. Oh shit. Yeah, six thousand Yoda tons. That's that's a big number. Six thousand Yoda tons. Yep. Yep. They're using his jellyfish net, old reliable. Mhm. Mm Karate gear. <laughs> oh, that episode, I remember. Yep. Fusion ha! Oh my goodness! Already underwater. Yeah. Shit, you once grabbed a hold of this. <gasps> yeah, I remember this clip. Yep. Literally undid the fabric of reality. In Compare that to Popeye surviving reality to turned off. Yeah, you spoke too soon, dude. Not sure I've ever misjudged a character as severely as SpongeBob SquarePants. Yep. Nice character arc there, Wiz. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for Roberto, the rest of the town only saw the goofy goober on the outside. It took more than one adventure to prove himself to be a real hero. Yep. Think he ever banged that squirrel? He's oh my God. Won the battle of Bikini Bottom against an army of killer robots. Even teamed up with stars, Tim Turner, Jim oh, they're using the games. They're compensating him. Okay, yep. Yeah. And depending on the humidity of the atmosphere around him, being out of the water can dehydrate and permanently incapacitate him. Oh, also seasonal rot. Those first three seasons oh, are pure gold, but after that, oh boy. There's this one episode called Squid Baby where Squidward gets brain damaged into a giant baby. Oh, yeah, that episode. Screen. What are you talking about? Oh, right. <laughs> Trials and tribulations and Hasselhoff's aside, mm -hmm. it wasn't until SpongeBob accepted himself for who he was that he was rewarded with the greatest boon of all. 
So if nautical nonsense be something you wish, then pray to your yellow porous god for mercy, because his whimsical laughter is the last thing you'll ever hear. Yep. Yeah, I never mess with SpongeBob. Okay, I'm I'm gonna stop this part here and I'm gonna go to Aquaman's side, but uh, no, I'm a, I'm not going to Aquaman's side. I'm I'm still rooting and betting on SpongeBob. We're gonna see Sponge we're gonna see Aquaman's analysis is what I meant to say. I'm not changing to Aquaman's side. I just wanna I'm gonna stop this part here and see Aquaman's analysis in the next part, so